the mobile vaccination van is parked right outside the Stan Island Ferry Terminal. This man just got his first dose. He did not want to be identified, but told us he had COVID at the beginning of the pandemic and fears whatever antibodies he may have is not strong enough against the Delta variant. Initially apprehensive about the vaccine, he changed his mind because the data shows it works. The numbers are very low as far as getting sick or, you know, saying bad side effects. So I wanted to do it. You know, and it, I'm scared of it, but I'm, I'm doing it because, you know, saying I know it's still out there. It's changing. It, 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 the virus is mutating. After months of a downward trend, New York City is seeing an uptick in cases. The seven day rolling average shows 407 new daily cases. That's double the infections from a week ago. The Delta variant is spreading fast. Cases are also on the rise in dozens of states. City of Health officials are sounding the alarm. As the city's doctor, what keeps me up at night is thinking about those New Yorkers who are still unvaccinated. The new plan of attack is a neighborhood approach, getting the vaccines directly to New Yorkers. Dr. Fred Davis is associate chair for emergency medicine at Long Island Jewish Medical Center. He explains why the variant is so highly contagious. It allows the mutation on the spike protein which makes it easier to get an, in an infect uh, cell. It actually reproduces so that there's more higher volume of this virus in someone's respiratory tract. More evidence that the vaccines are the best defense in playing the long game of COVID. A Yale University study found the city's vaccination campaign prevented a quarter of a million cases, 44,000 hospitalizations, and saved 8,300 lives. There's going to be outbreaks among those who are unvaccinated, um, particularly those in communities that have low vaccination rates that we're going to unfortunately see a lot more hospitalization from. And since the beginning of 2021, more than 98% of all COVID cases, including hospitalizations and deaths, have come from unvaccinated people. We're live tonight in the St. George section of Staten Island. I'm Shirley Chan, PIX11 News.